Did you know there's a table of contents feature in Excel? How about a Wikipedia add-in where you can look for anything on the web? Well, Excel's been releasing hundreds of new features over the years, yet 90% of Excel users don't even know they exist. So let's go over eight of their best new features. First up, we have the navigation pane, which is basically a table of contents. Suppose you have a lot of different tabs like this Excel sheet, which you can download for free in the video description. And we want to go ahead and make a table of contents. We can simply use the default one by going to the view tab and clicking on navigation. You'll find it right here to the side. And from there, you can simply click on any of the sheets to navigate there. Within it, you can see that you have some subcategories, which are basically all of the specific data areas. We can even find any hidden tabs like checkbox 2 over here, which we can't quite find down below. And this is fully dynamic, so if I hit a plus there to create a new sheet, you'll notice that it automatically shows up over here as well. Next up, suppose I have a physical paper, maybe that could be a book, and I want to bring that into Excel. Well, for that, I could take a picture of it with my phone perhaps, and from there, go ahead and send it via email, and eventually take it over to my computer to look something like this. As you can see here, it doesn't look too great, it's got some shading and so forth, but there is a way to import it in our Excel file. All we need to do is head over to data, from here go to from picture, picture from file, go ahead and find wherever it's located, in my case it's in the downloads folder, right here I can just click on insert, and you'll notice that it starts to load up over to the side. Just give it a minute. And now we can just click on insert data there and just hit on insert anyways. If we double click on it, you'll notice that it has that full text copied. And even though it has some typos like this over here, it's done a reasonably good job. As you can imagine, this works for any image. So it might be a screenshot from your computer or anything from your phone like I just showed. Number three, we have the two call formula, and this is great for merging multiple columns into one. So let's take a look at an example. Let's suppose that we have these five lists here and we wanna convert it into a single list. We can do that by hitting equals, two call, hit the tab key there, and the array is this whole area over here. And then we can just close the parenthesis and hit enter. It's that simple, but you'll notice that some of the names are duplicated, like Christian over here. So what we can do is in front of that to call, we can add the unique function, hit the tab key there, and simply close at the very end. That's all we need to do. And now we have all of the full list of unique names. To call is for columns, but there's also a sister formula, which is equals to row which does the same thing, but instead it's on a row basis as opposed to a column basis. Next up, we have the search feature in Excel. See, when we take a look at the ribbon up over here, there's so much information that sometimes you might forget where things are located. So suppose you wanna do a conditional formatting, but you're not sure if that's in the insert tab. Well, you can just right click anywhere and up top, you'll find the search the menus option. And within it, we can just look for conditional formatting and find it from here, much like we could have if we went to the home tab. So this applies to any part of the ribbon. I can go ahead and right click again, and this time look for a chart, and I'm gonna get all of the chart options too. If you thought the search feature was useful, wait till we get to the add-ins at the end of the video. But first, let's go over Excel's newest feature, which are checkboxes. So over here, let's suppose that I have a project and I wanna add a checkbox for each stage. I can just go over to insert and all the way to the side, click on checkbox. This is still a feature that's being rolled out. So some of you may still not have it. Now it just works like any other text. So we can just drag it out like that and then drag it down all the way to the bottom there. If we wanna have them ticked, we can just hit on that space sign and space sign again to untick. I can also change the colors and maybe put them at in orange just to see what that looks like there. This type of feature is really useful for creating a project tracker like this one over here, where for each stage, this tracker moves up and so does the number. 
If we get to the full completion there, you'll notice that it gets ticked out as well. And we made a full video on this up over here. In number six, we have probably the most powerful new feature, which is Python inside of Excel. So over here, you can see that we have some stocks of companies and their dates. Let's suppose that we want to analyze this further, maybe trying to find the average price, the count of occurrences and so forth. We can do that by going over to the formulas tab and you'll find this python area over here again this is also a feature that's being rolled out now to activate it we can just actually go to equals and type py for creating python formulas hit the tab key there and from here what we want to do is select the whole area so Control shift down Control shift right and i'm just gonna put the scribe there at the very end open and close the parenthesis and we can't just hit enter, that only creates new lines here in Python. So just go to control enter. It should take a while to load and you're gonna see this data frame. To make it into an Excel value, just click up over here and click on Excel value. Now you can see what that looks like and we have the full breakdown for any kind of statistics. We could also change this to try to see the relationship between these formulas. So instead of going to dot describe, we could put dot core for correlation hit control enter again now you can see that microsoft to microsoft is perfectly correlated obviously as it's the same company apple to microsoft is pretty similar as their competitors but companies that are non-competing like walmart and microsoft have a negative correlation so when one goes up the other one goes down speaking of stocks if you want to break into any of these finance careers you can consider checking out our complete finance and valuation course where you learn all the essentials of accounting, finance, valuation and financial modeling on Excel. In the course, we'll first cover financial statement analysis, after which we'll get into financial modeling through a three statement model on Apple. Then we'll begin the valuation phase where you learn to do a discounted cash flow, a comparable company's valuation, and a present transactions valuation on Adobe, looking at their real financial statements to eventually derive a valuation range. Lastly, we'll show you how to present an investment thesis using a stock pitch format. So if you're interested in these, check them out in the link in the description below. All right, back to the video. Next up, we have the tech split formula, which is fairly self-explanatory. You can see over here that we have the career principles courses, and suppose that we want to split them with that comma into each specific cell. So we could do equals text split, hit the tab key there, and this is the text comma, and the delimiter is the separator. So we want to separate it by a comma. We'll put that in quotations there, close the parenthesis and hit enter. You can see how that looks like, but suppose we want it to be vertical instead of horizontal. We can change that with the transpose formula. So equals transpose, select this area here, close the parenthesis and hit enter. Now you can see that it's made it vertical. The transpose formula basically changes from horizontal to vertical or vice versa. Sisters to the text split are the text before and the text after. Obviously they're fairly self-explanatory too. Finally, in number eight, we have add-ins, which I think is one of the coolest features. For these, just head over to the home tab and you should find all the way to the side, this add-ins icon. Click on that and from here, we can pretty much add in anything. So let's click on plus get add-ins. This is gonna open up the store here. And from here, we can add a ton of free plugins. Let's go ahead and add Wikipedias. Hit on continue there and you'll find it over to the side where you have Wikipedia as a reference. And suppose we wanna know the population of France. I'm just gonna search for that and hit enter there. So if we go over to sections, this is gonna give us the table of contents of the Wikipedia page. We can click inside of overview and you can see that we have the population right here. We can just select that and just hit on that plus sign. That's basically gonna import it inside of Excel here as you can see as a value we can go ahead and delete the source if we just want the number for example and we can also add things like images by going to the image tab let's suppose that we like this one right over here we can simply drag and drop it too 
What I just showed you is one add-in, but as you can see, there is a ton of different ones, so feel free to play around and check them out. Awesome, now you've just learned 8 new Excel features very few people know about. Now to learn how to make some awesome visuals, check out this video over here, or take our Excel course over here. Hit the like and the subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.